Okay, we're working on sorting rules. Okay, so first, let's do a review of what we've learned up to this point on how we are sorting by different attributes. So, how many ways we can sort? Okay, we can sort by colors, we can sort by shape, we can sort by size, we can sort by texture. Okay, these are just some ways that we can sort things. Okay, for example, colors could be red, yellow, blue, green, orange. We know all the colors. Okay, shapes. We have squares, circles, triangles, rectangles. So we could sort the objects by the shape. Size could be big or small, tall or short, long or short. Okay, those are all different sizes and we can sort things by sizes. Texture. Again, texture could be soft or hard, um, sticky, wet. Uh, other ways could be rough, like sandpaper, or sharp, like a needle. Okay, these are all different ways that we can do sorting. Now, why don't we try? Let's try a new way. Okay, so what's my rule? We want to figure out what the rule of sorting is here. So take a look at this. Over here, we have some striped shirts. Here, we have some colored shirts. So boys and girls, how do you think we are sorting these? What would be the rule of sorting? Okay, so I'll help you with the first one. Maybe you got it right, maybe you didn't, but here is what the first one would be. Stripes and no stripes. So over here, we have stripes. And over here, they don't have any stripes, so it's no stripes. That is the sorting rule. Okay? All right, let's go take a look at the next one. So what's my rule? Over here, we have some buttons. And over here, we also have some buttons. Hmm. How do you think we are sorting them? What's the rule? Look closely. Look closely at the button here and look closely at the button here. I can see there's differences. Okay. Take a look. All right. Let's find out what it is. Four holes and not four holes. So over here, these buttons all have four holes in them. Over here, these buttons, they only have two. So it's not four holes. And that is called a rule. That is called a sorting rule. We are sorting by different attributes. Okay, let's take a look at the next one. All right, what's my rule? So over here we have some neckties and over here we also have some neckties. So do you think you know what the sorting rule is? Look closely. Try to find the differences. Okay, over here, I can see some differences compared to what's over here. Dots and no dots. Okay, did you guess it correctly? All right, let's move on to the next one. What's my rule? So over here, we have lots of animals. And over here, we have lots of blocks. So boys and girls, what do you think the sorting rule is here? Take a close look. All right, let's find out what it is. Animals and not animals. Did you guess it correctly? All right, these are called sorting rules, okay? Rules are ways of sorting objects and we are sorting them by their attributes or description points, okay? All right, what's my rule? Over here, we have some boxes, and over here, we have some bottles. No, I don't think we're sorting them by boxes and bottles. Look closely and find some differences between them. Do you think you got it? All right, let's see if you're correct. 
corners and no corners. So if you look at these boxes, they have a sharp corner here. All of them have the sharp corners, okay? And these bottles, they do not have corners. Their edges are rounded, okay? Now, we know now that the sorting rule for these are corners and no corners. Can you think of another way we can sort these? All right, let's take a look. Slide and roll. Were you able to guess that? So these boxes, if I put them on a hill or a slide, they're going to go slide down. Because they have corners and edges, they would not roll, okay? But over here, these bottles and jars, they are rounded, okay? They don't have corners. So they are very easy to roll. If you put it on top of a hill or a slide, they're going to roll down very fast, okay? So ways that we can sort these are corners and no corners, slide and roll. All right, let's move on. All right, what's my rule? Hmm, this is an interesting one. Over here I have a dog and a cat, and over here I have an airplane, a train, and a car. No, we are not sorting them by animals and transportation because those are two totally different things of, of how we would say it, okay? Let's find out. Living and non-living. Were you able to guess that one? Okay, so the animals, they are alive. But the transportation, the airplane, the taxi, and the train, they're not alive. If they were alive, I would be really scared. Okay, so once again, it's living and non-living. Now, can you think of another way we could sort these? Okay, let's take a look. We have animals and not animals. Aha, I tricked you a little bit in the beginning. Okay, I was saying animals and transportation is not okay, but Animals and not animals is okay. Good luck. Review this many times. We will be using this one tomorrow in our math time. And you'll be having math homework with this one. So please practice it. Bye.